Well, this is interesting. So it looks like I was completely wrong and we will not be getting a multicolor solution for all 3D printers from Bamboo Lab. However, if you watched my other video, I mentioned a company called Coprint. Well, since that video, they've updated their landing pages and from the looks of it, it looks like they're going to be releasing the product that I hoped Bamboo Lab would release. Anyway, that's all for another video. Today, we're here to talk about the new printer from Bamboo Lab. So without further ado, let's get into it. How's it going everyone and welcome back to LT3D. Now before I get into the details of the new Bamboo Lab printer, if you are interested in Coprint and a multicolor solution for all Cartesian style 3D printers, then I'll have a product page linked in the description down below. And don't forget to subscribe because I will be doing a whole video where I go through their upcoming range of products in more detail. So uh, stay tuned for that. So Bamboo Lab has just released its new printer which we now know is the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. Now, this was leaked earlier today by accident, by the uh, next layer, um, but uh, mistakes happen, so uh, let's not dwell on that. By the looks of it, Nathan Builds Robots is correct. It is a bed slinger, which in a way is a little bit weird from Bamboo Lab, considering they have plastered on their website, no more bed slingers. But anyway... <laughs> The landing page is live on their website and so is the product page, so let's dive into the features and have a look at this new AMS unit which may potentially be the rumoured AMS light. Alright, so right away we get Bamboo Lab A1 Mini on the home page to replace the old uh, color, colourful what, 3D printing for everyone it was? Uh, so uh, let's have a look at uh, this new printer. I do like the look of that screen, by the way. Proudly engineered. <laughs> okay. Already bed leveling, cool. Okay. So same as the um, other Bamboo Lab printers. That's what I'm interested about, this quick swap nozzle. Which looks pretty cool. I'm just going to pause it quickly because it reminds me of the quick swap nozzles that you have on the um, Flash Forge Adventure 3, 4, and the new 5M series, where it's just like a little button you push on the side and then you can pull out the whole entire nozzle, which I think is really cool. Cool, cool. AMS light. Okay, so it is the AMS light. There were rumors about an AMS light being released, and I wasn't sure whether it was going to be like similar to the actual AMS unit, but um, by looks of it, it's completely different, and I don't know how I feel about it. Like, it's kind of cool, but I also feel like it takes up a lot of space. A lot of space, but you know, this is what it is, I guess. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, they've released Maker World. Cool, cool. I'm very keen about that. So Maker World's essentially going to be similar to like uh, Thingiverse and um, Printables where it's like a whole entire catalogue of uh, print files and people can upload files and so forth. I think I've read something about filament settings as well. You can 
upload different types of filament settings. Not too sure about all that information, but um, I'm sure now that it's out, there's probably more details on it, but uh, let's keep going. That is pretty cool. I want to know what the bed size is though. I really want to know. I'm very curious because it's definitely smaller than the um, X1 and P1P, but how smaller? It looks pretty cool from the side, honestly. Also, a lot of people I've seen already online are complaining about the look of it and saying, one, it doesn't look very bamboo-like and two, they don't like it. I actually don't mind it. I think it looks quite cool. I can't complain. The only thing I'm a bit iffy about is that AMS light unit. But um, apart from that, I, I think it looks like a pretty cool machine. Like, it's quite nice. Bamboo colors, you know, similar to the um, X1 and X1 Carbon. Can't complain about that. But it also comes down to what the price point is. Like, I said I wasn't going to buy one of these. I, I told myself I wasn't going to buy this printer when it came out. If When the A1 got released, because I knew it was going to be smaller. But if it's at, like, you know, a, a decent price point, you know, maybe I'll buy one and make a couple videos on it. Who knows? We'll see. Bed slinger with Core XY speed and quality. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to see about that. I do like this interface. It looks really cool and the screen looks really nice. Active mode and noise cancelling. This is what they leaked. I'll be very interested to see how quiet it really is like when everyone uploads videos, which is obviously going to be like very shortly. Well, for you guys will already be out. For me, shortly. Quick swap nozzles I think is really cool. But sort of what are you going to get? Is it just going to be, you know, like 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 sort of stuff or hardened as well? Who knows? Camera lens. Okay, so I got a camera on it. Is it? I wonder if it's a 720p or whether it's 1080. Oh, to cover it. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's a lot of information on this page. Like a lot more than... The Adventure 5 and 5M Pro when I went through it. A random mystery box is included in the package of every A1 mini combo. While supplies last, good luck. What, you can get one of these? Is that what they're saying? I don't know. What? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> the A1 mini sings electronic music with no speaker. The A1 Mini can drive the three motors that generate certain frequencies, vibration frequencies, to play up to three soundtracks at the same time. Try with your own Mini files with the Web Mini, the G-Code generator, so that your A1 Mini can show its... You know what? I might actually have to get one just for this, because I am a musician, and I would love to see what one of my songs would sound like on this, so I might have to, honestly. Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. Here we go. 749. Ooh. Ooh, 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 I don't know about that one. AMS light support up to four color printing, pre-assembled, yeah, 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 cool, cool. Oh, wait, 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 that's combo. Okay, so A1 mini combo with the AMS lights. What I wonder is that little section here, can you remove that and just have one spool in? And if so, can you use the normal AMS with it? Or does it have to be AMS light? Because if you can use the normal AMS with it, and the price is reduced, I'll have to see what the price is in a minute. But if if I can use the normal AMS with this, and it's a good price, I'll, I'll, I'll bloody purchase it 100%. Okay, Mega Combo comes with 0.2, hardened 0.4 and 6, and a smooth PI. So it comes with, wait, does it come with texture? By default, I guess we'll find out later. Uh, and the A1 Mini, so that's 833, A1 Mini. Oh wait, so you can't even order just the printer itself. It's 489. And I did say to myself, I said if it's under $500, I might cop it. And it's $489. So, <laughs> it might bite me in the ass a little bit, but I can't pre-order it, which does annoy me a little bit. Okay, you know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's have a look. Um, 180 by 180 by 180. Oof. Okay. 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 That is significantly smaller. People were talking that it might be like a 200 mil cubed, but that's a lot smaller. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. 
Textured PI is included. Okay, okay. 80 degrees, max build plate temp. 500 mils, yep. Yeah. PLA, PTG, TPU, PVA. I was about to say, <laughs> not recommended. I mean, it's not really enclosed, so you might have a little bit of difficulty. Up to 1080p. But is that 1080p six, uh, 30? Because it's low frame rate? I mean, either way, if you're doing time lapses, I guess it doesn't really matter. Film it run out. Yeah, power loss. Okay. Alrighty. I see what's in. Okay, here we go. In the box. So you get A1 Mini. If you buy the combo, you get the AMS light stand, AMS light body, accessory box, build plate, AMS light rotary spool holder, purge wiper, spool holder for the back of it. Okay, so you can use one spool in it, which makes sense. Interesting. Very interesting. I might cop, I might not. I might have to have a little look around YouTube, see what uh, all the testers are thinking about it. And uh, maybe, because the 180 cubed is, is kind of putting me off at the moment, I ain't gonna lie. But um, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and whether you'll be getting one. Uh, thanks for watching. If you've tuned in this far, don't forget to like, subscribe. And uh, as always, happy printing.